episode three on the Black Couch Show. I am your lovely host, Bianca Dupree. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am so excited to start this new journey and to have you guys to run along this journey. And also pay attention to my shirt. It says culture on it with women with different beautiful hairstyles. And that's actually gonna be our topic today about having hair insecurities. I know a lot of people have hair insecurities. And honestly, it's not just a woman thing. Men also as well have insecurities, hair insecurities. So let's talk about it. Let's just dig right deep in the topic. Once again, if you have not seen episode or episode two of my the black couch show please check it out we have wonderful topics we're going to have guests coming on here i'm excited for the show to progress this is just only the beginning so let's just manifest that so let's dig into the topic <laughs> talk about like having hair insecurities so I honestly don't know where hair insecurities come from. I was never the type of person that used to get pick on my hair when I was younger. Um, I've always liked my hair. So I don't know where in particular where my hair insecurities come from. But I think mine's such an opposite. So let's talk about like job interviews. So you know how like when you go into a job interview and most time people pre-game and have their appearance set up before they go on a job interview or even in corporate world or professional on a professional level, they already know exactly how they want to look as far as their appearance, how they want their hair to be. And when I do job interviews and even at my current job, I wear my hair naturally. I have been naturally for a long time now. Of course, I switch up my hair. I have cut my hair. You know, now I'm at the process. I'm in the process of growing out my hair. So I've been naturally, like for the most part, for some time now. And I always go on job interviews, and I go to my current job, and with my natural hair, I wear my hair like this. And because of the fact that I know that if I want my job like anything that has to do on a professional level, I want them to accept me at, in my natural state. Because I know that if they like me in my natural state, then no matter what I decide to change my looks or add on to my looks or whatever, then it wouldn't pretty much phase them because they know how I look when I'm bare and natural. <laughs> so, but where my hair insecurities come from is that when I decide I want to try something different, like, try weave in my hair, try a wig, you know, have my hair straight, add some braids, add a different color. That's where my hair insecurities come from because I'm like, they're so used to me just being me like that in natural state, looking like this. And they're gonna be in shock when they start seeing me switching up at my job. Cause my current job, they haven't seen me wear like a wig or got hair extensions or quick weave or whatever they haven't seen that they haven't seen a different color in my hair they haven't seen none of that so they haven't even seen me wear like acrylics like right now my hands are plain but they haven't seen me done that so when i start like switching up that style a little bit it's kind of like oh wow how would they react to it and I know that I'm not the only person that thinks like that because there's a lot of women and I and I know especially for black women we're very self-conscious of how our appearance especially our hair looks like and especially if we're going into any type of professional setting so I know I'm just like curious to hear what other people thoughts if other people have hair insecurities I know some people have roles where oh well usually because i know one lady she told me like at work she always wear weave and stuff in her hair there may be only one good month where she come to work letting like natural hair but usually she'll have weave and stuff like that and, and i'm thinking okay well that's cool you know if that's what makes you comfortable and confidence but sometimes i want to know like wouldn't you wouldn't you feel like your job when you truly feel comfortable if you feel accepted and 
maybe not feeling accepted because sometimes acceptance is not always important but when do you feel comfortable in your environment at your job if you could be yourself and look yourself whether than play or look a certain type of role if that makes sense so I don't know where honestly hair insecurities come from I'm not sure if it's something that was taught you know passed down like oh for the corporate world you have to look a certain way maybe it kind of stemmed off of the rules and policies of how your parents should be in a professional work setting I know nowadays the policies dress code for work settings has slightly has changed uh, I've noticed that a lot of jobs are more accepting with visible tattoos, with different hair colors, with different hairstyles, different things like that. And dress policies have been more laid back than compared to back in the days. So I know a lot of things are changing. And, you know, everybody still has, like, Everybody still has certain standards when it comes to how they want to look when they're in a professional setting. I do feel like, and especially being a black woman, you know, we I, we tend to think about like, okay, well, how am I gonna wear my hair when I'm at work? <laughs> you know, like everybody said, there's two sides of them. There's the professional side and the personal side. And most people like to keep that separate. So I think about that all the time. But I know people are thinking like, girl, just wear your hair however you wanna wear your hair. At my current, with my current profession, I don't really have strict guidelines or policies about our appearance. The dress code is business casual because i am a marketing coordinator i'm in the marketing industry marketing is a very creative field and they're used to people marketing people to be like so eccentric with their looks because like i said we are creative people so they're used to us dressing different and kind of like standing out pretty much so yes yeah, so i'm like okay well why am I like sometimes have like second thoughts like oh should I wear that hairstyle at work and most time the hairstyles I pick honestly they're like plain Jane they're they're nothing eccentric about my hairstyles they're pretty much simple basic I mean they're still cute but it's not like oh my god I'm adding color and all this style and different things like that so I know people are like Bianca just wear your hair the way you want to wear your hair I mean, come on, if you wear your hair like this in its natural state, you're looking natural 24 seven at your job. I'm pretty sure at this point they're, they're like, oh, okay, well, yeah, she changed her hair. But they're so used to seeing me like this, like wearing my hair natural and just looking like, the, like natural. So, <laughs> but it's funny, cause I was honestly thinking about this. I was like, where do I get like, where do I get like these hair insecurities sometimes from? Cause I'm like, I never felt like my hair was ugly. I never got made, of fu made fun of when I was younger about my hairstyles. But honestly, I, I don't wanna blame my mom and I don't wanna put her on blast, but my mom is the type of person where she, I don't feel like she's 100% satisfied with her hair. Like she always like to change her hair all the time. I don't think she has a go-to style. I think one moment she wants to look like this, one moment she wants to look like that, like most women do. And I make a joke with her. I said, mom, you know, well, honestly one day you should hire a professional hairstylist that comes and do your hair every day or 24 7 because you always there's always something about your hair you're like i don't like i need to change i need to change i need to do this whatever so what sometimes i ask myself like would i ever have a go-to style because you know how there are women that have a go-to style like they wear their hair constantly like this all the time and they're happy and satisfied with it. They don't change it. They don't switch it up. For example, like Chloe and Holly. I love their hair. And if you don't know who Chloe and Holly Bailey are, they're two sisters. They're very close in age. 
Holly Bailey will soon be Little Mermaid coming up this May, summertime, in the live action Disney movie. And Chloe, she's been focusing on singing, but she has some projects coming up with acting. And uh, they both wear their hair. They have dreadlocks, or I think it's just like dreads, I believe. Yeah, it's like dreads. It's pre their hair is pretty much locked. And they, I mean, they had this hair since they were little, so that's the reason why their locks are really long. But they do switch up their locks. You know, they make their locks creative. They do kind of integrate different hairstyles into their locks. Base, for the main part, they basically have locks in their hair. And so it's not like they're cutting off their locks or changing or whatever. So, the, and they seem like they're happy with their hair. And I'm like, <laughs> I want to find a go-to hairstyle where I'm just like, th for, this is the main base of my hair. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. But I'm a type of person where, like I said, I've been, I've been natural, but I have cut my hair plenty of times. And now I'm like, okay, now I'm growing up my hair. I've colored my hair. One time I had a relaxer in my hair. And there's a part of me that honestly do want twist locks. Like, I think about locking my hair, but then I'm like, I don't know. I feel like you have to be committed when you have a hairstyle like that because that ain't for the week, in my opinion. <laughs> That's not for a week. And I would love to hear more women, and not just women, but just people in general that talk about, like, be like, I can relate to that. Like, I'd be having insecurities about my hair and never 100% satisfied with my hair, always want to switch it up, always want something different, always want something new. So I'm like, I know there's a lot of people like that, but I'm a deeper thinker. I want to know why. Like, what are the reasons why most people are like that about their hair, especially women? And not saying that because you always want to try different looks and you're not satisfied with your hair, but you're not, maybe it's more like you're just not satisfied with having the same look all the time. You want to switch it up and have different looks. Some people like switching up and having different looks and that's okay. So I may just be one of those type of people that I always want to change up my hair. So I feel like I can't lock my hair because I would probably get tired of it and be like, I'm tired of my hair being locked because I want something different. <laughs> So yeah, but yeah, insecurities about hair. I mean, women, we, we I mean, a lot of people th think, well, especially men, but society sometimes may perceives it to be like, women, they do certain things because of men. Like the reason why we wear hair this way, if we want to wear eyelash, extended eyelashes, I do sometimes get my eyelashes done. So, you know, some people think like, okay, well, women do that because they want to look good for other men. No. Women do that because it's a lot of times competing with themselves and looking to see what other women are, how they're wearing their hair and like, hmm, I need, you know, I need to make sure that my highlights and my makeup and all this is popping. <laughs> so I... And it's not really a competition with other women. I don't think that other women look at other women and be like, oh, well, she looks really good, so I need to look like her or look better. I mean, maybe there are some women out there that do it, but I think that women, we get a lot of inspiration from each other. So, and then we get a lot of inspiration for, for um, like, looks and fashion, things like that. But I honestly... I don't know too many women that be like, oh, well, I'm looking like this because I have to look good for these men because it's what men want. And I don't know. I don't hang out with women that be looking good for men. I be hanging out with women because they want to please themselves. They want to look at the mirror and they want to be like, girl, I look good. I like the way my hair is. I like my outfit, my makeup, everything's popping. So I feel like that is a very false presumption that a lot of women they like the reason why they're always changing their looks and trying to look good is because of men no <laughs> no and honestly sometimes you don't even have to try that hard for that part so but yeah i you know sometimes i worry about 
I allow those insecurities to get in my hair, my head about my hair because at the end of the day, you choose how you want to wear your hair. If you want to switch up your hairstyles, like the women pictures on my shirt, if you want to switch up your hairstyles, that is fine. That is a totally 100% fine. There shouldn't be pressure. At the end of the day, just know that your hair, your locks is part of your, your, your body. So put a lot of love and attention to it and give your hair grace. Don't go and be like, oh, my hair is ugly. Like, I feel like your hair has feelings because I don't know about you guys, but if I get stressed out, my hair starts falling out. So I really have to make sure that my body, my chemical reaction, like my body chemistry, all that is balanced. So I have to like not. So when I have those insecure thoughts, like, hmm, I want to wear my hair straight or I may want to add some hair to my head. I don't want to have like those like those thoughts where I'm questioning. Because let me tell you a true, let me tell you like a true, true story. So recently I was talking to a hairstylist and I was picking out a hair that I wanted to try to see, if, you know, I liked it on my hair. And I started to get insecure, insecure about the option that I want to try. Because deep down inside, I really want to try it because I think I'll look really, really good with this hairstyle that I want to try. But then I start getting insecure because I'm like, well, at my job, they never seen my hair like that. <laughs> and um, I never wore my hair like this before but I know that it will look really really cute on me because it will look more natural and I already wear my hair natural so it would you know it would basically fit the appearance that I have now but what it's like I was kept questioning myself like okay why am I choosing this hairstyle maybe I should go for the my typical normal basic like straight maybe curly hairstyle but I was like no I'm gonna try this I'm gonna try this to see if I like it so We'll see. Maybe I'll do like a reveal or something. But yeah, I was like, I need to stop because it's been so long where every time I get my hair done, I'm like questioning the hairstyle that I choose. I'm like, is this appropriate? Like, is this right? You know? And I'm like, stop doing that. <laughs> stop doing that. Like, just stop. Just stop it. That, like, if you want to try something, like try a hairstyle, try it. It's hair. People change their looks and their and their appearance all the time. So, yeah, I don't know why I get in my head, but I'm like, I gotta stop doing that. I gotta stop trying to fit my hair that it's almost like having a look that is comfortable for everyone and everybody. But really, it's about having a look that I'm the most comfortable with, that I'm happy with. And honestly, that's where a lot of self-confidence comes from is that at the end of the day, you have to be happy with the way you look, the way you dress. And most importantly, it's about feeling good because if you feel good and great about yourself, that confidence is going to shine through in whatever your outside appearance looks like. So yeah, so I just want to hear back from you guys to see if, you know, if having hair security, insecurity is a thing. Some people may say, oh, I had a lot of hair insecurity when I was younger, but now that I'm older. But maybe hair insecurity is a thing that everybody secretly goes through, but nobody really talks about it. And honestly, dig deep to the reason why we have hair insecurity. I'm like, why? Like, it's not like I went through traumatic experiences with my hair. But I'm like, where I'm getting that from? Like, it's not making any sense. So I would like to dig deep in this topic. And thank you again for joining me for episode three of the Black Couch Show. Stay tuned. There's a lot more coming. And thank you for all your support. And I see you next time on the Black Couch Show.